Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now we have our first guest in the studio, two young people that have emerged as shining stars at the fifth edition of the Dare to Dream Africa. Now they competed and they won in their different categories. Ella won in the spoken word category and Olamide won in the modeling category. Today they are joining us. Not only have they won, they've gone ahead to shine and excel and even gotten signed and gotten some major deals. We'll be speaking with them and they'll be sharing with us their journey through the Dare to Dream and what we expect from them. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, Thank you, you for having much. us. Yeah. All right, Come. Ella was such a, I, I remember your performance. Your performance was electrifying. Thank you I so much. I remember seeing your costume. <laughs> You know, coming out, I think it, it looked like a peacock. Yes, it had a wing on it. And it was made by um, the person who won the designer category, Bola Yahaya. Fantastic. Yes. Let's, let's go back to when you started writing poetry, when you started doing spoken word. Okay, um, poetry for me has always been a lifeline. You know, it's something that I did right from a very young age. I was maybe three when I started writing. And it's just followed me up until this very moment. And initially it started out as a hobby, as something that I just love to do. But growing up, it became uh, an escape, you know, from realities that I didn't want to deal with at that time. And right now, it's becoming a source of income and a source of joy for me. So, yeah, writing has been, it's been, it's been amazing, basically. Well, what sort of realities did you want to escape? <laughs> So much. Let's not go into that. Inside. No, maybe well, this one. there were, there was, you know, sometimes growing up, there are issues with family, there are issues with school, there are issues with being a, a, a young person in a country, you know, trying to find yourself. So writing to me was just, it helped me find me, basically. So basically, how, how has family taken your achievement so far? Oh, uh, they're ecstatic. My dad, my mom, my siblings, my younger sister. They are also excited for me. And, you know, because of that, I am also very grateful because in this present day, not very many people have families that support what they want to do. You know, we have people saying, oh, you must be a doctor, you must be a lawyer. But my family has accepted that, you know, I love the arts and the arts is what I want to do. And so they push me and they let me spread my wings. You know, they don't try to clip my wings. So are they you studying me... the arts actually in the university? <laughs> Funny enough, no, I'm not. I am actually studying human kinetics. I'm a sports person, I play basketball. So I love the science, but I leave the arts, hmm. basically. I love the science and but I, I leave the, the arts. arts. Alamide yes. had to chip in that. So like, <laughs> let's speak with you, Alamide. You're a model. Were yeah, you, a, were you always a model before you got into the Dare to Dream competition? Uh, um, I had it in mind, but I was, a, I was a student. I'm still a student anyway at the Federal University of Technology at Korea studying industrial studying? design. Okay. So modeling was just like, mom was like, okay, um, this person asked you to come. A designer first asked me to come over and was like, I want you to model for me. I was like, oh, this is something you can actually do. My mom followed me all the way there for wow. the first time. And I was like, before the guy ended up not using me. So it was like something I had an interest in, but did not really put in. I Your mom is a real MVP. Shout yes. out to yeah. yeah. Shout out <laughs> to my mommy. Shout, mommy, shout out to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, but so for how has the journey been for it's, you it's, since you won? It's been wonderful. As in, mm. I've... I, I, I really did not even imagine that. If they told me this would have happened to me last year, I would have said it's a lie. Because before the end, as in at the beginning of this year, I, I was nowhere. Right now, I worked Lagos Fashion Week. I have worked with brands like Orange Culture, Kick, Style, Infidel. It's, it's been amazing. It's really been amazing. And then, I mo heard. more recently, yes. Yes, I was more recently, more recently, Tell us about that. More recently, I just got signed to my book of models, and I also got signed abroad, IMG London hey, and hey. Independent <laughs> Milan. Okay, so and what happens to working. your school yes. now? Now that you've been signed to a modeling agency in London, well, what, what happens? Are you relocating? Still, hopefully. But it's, it's still a matter of deliberation. By God's grace, the best will happen. Mm. Mm. Hmm. That's, that's such a that's such a tough place to be. You know, <laughs> your life is your dreams are materializing before your eyes, yeah, and then you're in school you and you're thinking, do. "Oh my God, school is working out well, modeling is working out well." Yeah, I already know what I would choose, but I'll not say it online. <laughs> 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 okay, so now let, let's also talk about the experience of going through Dare to Dream. Yeah. Hmm. What was it like for you? I'll start with you first, and then you will. Wow. You. Um, the experience. It's something that I am not going to forget anytime soon. It was the entire package. It was the total package because we were taught discipline, you know, 
There was a time you had to be up and downstairs, else the bus would leave you. It taught us to be respectful. It taught us to be humble. You know, it, time management. There were a lot of different things that, that's why Katrina forever has my respect because she not only, Dare to Dream was not just a, a talent show. It wasn't just something for us to come and showcase what we had. It was, it was a place for us to come and learn more and, you know, add practical life skills because we had master classes or in, um, um, business, you know, we had a business plan master class, actual skills that we could implement in our lives after Dare to Dream. And it wasn't so, basically, I like saying this, we won the prize on the grand finale, but every single person that passed through Dare to Dream already won because there were so many things involved. The experience was epic, you know, making new friends. <laughs> and, you know, these are friends that we didn't just meet at camp and it ended there. We still talk to each other. We still try to collaborate with, with each other. We still try to work together. The, it has been an amazing experience wow. for me. Let's, let's hear yeah. yours. <laughs> it, it's, it's been wonderful. The, sure. At the beginning, we were, it was supposed to be just a modeling competition. I traveled all the way to Benin. I'm Lagos based. I traveled all the way to Benin for auditions. It was supposed to be just a model competition. And I got there, and then they started telling me, social media. Block social one media, test. Social media. This task, that task. I was like, wait, we just came to model. <laughs> 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 and then, okay, I didn't even believe I would make it through the um, Benin auditions. And then I won there. At first, I didn't know I would make it to boot camp. Then I had to go through a series of exams. That's why mm, my, mom, my mom has been a very big part of this. We'll stay up late, going through digital marketing classes, going through master classes, wow. me and my mom, to write mm -hmm. exams. Yeah, this, this, no this, this, is no. not, this, this wasn't was just not a, a modeling competition. Like, the amount of knowledge I gained, damn. It it's so much. Mod, um, digital marketing classes, YouTube marketing classes, as in, Ugh, yes. I just kept on reading and writing exams, reading and writing. In fact, what we did was Four even blocks. more than more than the modeling. <laughs> I mean, I would never have known this. Esther, I went to the grand finale to have a show. And true. I promise you that I had the show of my life. Wow, well, I stayed. I didn't plan that. to stay to the end because I wasn't stay. feeling too well, but because oh. I had promised that I was going to be there. Mm -hmm. So I came there, I was going to stay for one hour. Brothers and sisters, <laughs> I stayed till the end of the show because yes. it was so entertaining, and yes. I would never have guessed. Oh. Like I'm really having chills hearing all this because it's it's really important to see that we we have shows like this, mm -hmm. competitions like this that leave you feeling better than yes. when you Definitely. went in, yes. and not just Definitely. competitions that are. I'm not so much, so much of a fan of social experiments of just put a few people together and see whatever they do with their lives. Mm -hmm. At least give them something, give them some True. value. Yeah, and I'm actually like, going to say shout out to your mom actually for me. Yeah, real yeah. MVP. She helped mom, me. Mom, you're watching this. You know, I, can I? So she helped me out with my performance too on that day. Oh really? So yes, I was brainstorming about two days to the grand finale, and I wanted a couple of new things involved. And I'm like, I need someone who could speak Igbo because I wanted Igbo and I wanted Yoruba and I wanted Hausa. And he says, Oh, my mom could do it. And I called her up once, and she made she made it for me. So yes, big shout out to. His mom. That's, my, that's um, my dad is Yoruba, my mom is Igbo. Oh, so he's really? the Yoruba yeah. Igbo. Ola, 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 Ola Dozie. That's. that's oh, <laughs> oh, so you're Ola Dozie. Ola Dozie. Yes. Ola Dozie. So that's your, your stage name. That, that, stage or your name, brand name. Brand name, if you oh, will. My. Brand name. Wow, nice. Brilliant. So yeah. maybe we should ask what the expectations for the future are. So for you, that's has a conflict of career path. Now, I wouldn't say conflict. You love the sciences and you leave the, the art. art. What, is, what is the future for Ella? What should we expect? And mind you, whilst you're answering that, start to think of the poetry performance because I have to make sure that you perform. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> you definitely have to. Okay. You definitely have to. That's fine. Um, the future. <laughs> so sincerely speaking, I am the kind of person that I, um, I live in the present. But... The future holds so much in store. It holds too much in store, actually, because it's not something I could just start thinking in my head, like, oh, I have this and this and this. If I try to imagine it, my head will probably explode, sincerely speaking. So the future holds so much for me. I know uh, during my performance, uh, rather during the Dare to Dream uh, boot camp, that was the first place where I vocalized that I wanted to be the first um, Nigerian spoken word artist to win a Grammy. That is definitely still in the picture. I'm working towards it. And then there's, I have, I want to perform basically everywhere and
push spoken word poetry to the forefront. You know, it was it was fulfilling for me to win because no, not many people know about poetry, you know, know about spoken word as an art. It's like the, you know, the ugly stepsister in the, you know, family of arts. So being able to go against, you know, more popular aspects of arts, the rap, the dance, you know, and all of that and actually win, it was not just a win for me, it was a win for the entire writing community. So I, I um, have plans to keep pushing until spoken word, it's, it's going to be spoken word and probably dance and then music and all of that. But I want, I want to push spoken word to the limelight. So this was me, Loki, asking you that when the time came for you to make a choice between kinetic? Human kinetic, kinetics. Human kinetics mm -hmm. and poetry, what will you choose? So your answer has already told me what you will choose. It, it's, it's definitely going to be poetry. Human kinetics is a passion for me. I love sports. You know, I love fitness. I play basketball personally. So it's always going to be something that is there on the side. But I mean, I'm, I, I plan on having a fitness house. I plan on having all of those good stuff. Because yeah, you know, to do poetry. Po to me, I feel like the way I am wired, I take care of both the body and the mind. Because the spoken word takes care of, you know, the mind. And then um, human kinetics takes care of hmm, your body. This so. guy is just a... It's just the lyricist. <laughs> <laughs> the lyricist. Out already. So I'm going to give you like 30 seconds each to speak to a young person who nurses dreams of being in a reality show like this one. What would you say to them? And then you wrap up with your performance. Wow. So I think I'll start with him first. Okay. Um, first of all, believe. Believe in yourself. It's not going to be easy. You're going to meet obstacles. You're going to get washed down. People are going to look down on you. Don't, don't ever believe that. Believe in your dream, and you achieve it. It's that's just that's just the way. If you believe in your dream, you achieve it definitely. All right, brilliant. Believe in your dream. If you believe in your dream, you'll achieve it. Ella, what are your final words, and then you wrap up with a poetry performance? Okay. <laughs> Mind you, my poetry pieces are usually long, so I'll probably just have to cut. Just one give really us short. like yes. Okay. So, um, final words. Stop stopping yourself. Just go ahead and do it. It doesn't matter what you feel. It doesn't matter. You know what is stopping you it doesn't matter the up the, the the situation you find yourself just do it because it it if you're in a situation where um you keep stopping yourself then you're never going to learn what you can actually do you know so basically stop stopping yourself all right so so the piece <laughs> yeah okay this is a reminder to my generation you are brave you are resilient you are savvy, you are entrepreneurial, and unlike generations before you, you are much hungrier for success. You call your ambition your hustle, money, pepper, because you understand that man's got to be hot. But be warned, this society is working overtime looking for ways to kill your drive. They'll tell you how you were supposed to do it and explain to you in details why your ideas wouldn't work. They'd say you're too young or too rude when you express your truth. They'd give you all the factual reasons why that clothing line and that fashion brand would not sell. Some would even look you in the eyes and say, if you couldn't get an A on your final exam, how do you expect to drop an A-list song? Hmm. But you, with fire burning in your heart, to look them straight in the eyes and tell them, I'll prove you wrong. Indeed, you will <laughs> prove them wrong. Wow. I think that deserves a round of applause. Your Thank you. Thank you so energetic. much. Thank you so much for joining us. How Thank you for having us. Goes on social media? Thank you very much. And so, okay, um, on social media, you could um, reach me on Instagram at Forte Writes. That is spelled F O R W T E underscore W R I T E S. I take that again F O R W T E underscore W R I T E S. Okay. Mine is Ola dot dozier. That's O L A dot D O Z I E. Ola dot dozier. Alright. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.